Hello, I'm Jason Jarrett. I'm the Love Line Ford Delivery Specialist for Dutch Miller Subaru, and I'm here today with a quick tech tip for you. Okay, so today, what we're going to talk about on our Subaru, you're going to find this under Apps, and we're going to be talking about Android Auto. Now, just so you know, uh, we will do a separate video later on covering the Apple CarPlay, but today we're going to focus on Android Auto. Now, Android Auto is for anyone, if you're like me, if you have a Samsung phone, an Android-based phone, you're going to be using this. Now, to use this, there's a couple of things you got to do. You do have to install this Android Auto app onto your cell phone for it to work. So you can get that from the Google Play Store. You're also going to need to have your charging cable for your cell phone. Now, uh, just a little tip on your cables. Uh, it is recommended to have you like, like a nice cord to use. Um, if you use like a dollar store cable you found somewhere, you might have issues with the data being transmitted between the phone and the car. So I went and for my car, I have a nice uh, AT&T cable I got. So on my phone, I've already got the Android Auto app installed. So what I'm going to do is just plug my phone in here. And it's right here. It's asking me to enable the Android Auto. So I'm going to hit yes. Now, on your phone, you are going to have to go through a little setup process for the first time you go to use this. And certain Subarus might also ask you to put the parking brake on, which is what this car has done. So I'm going to put the parking brake on. So now here I can go into my setup process. So I'm just going to hit next. It's telling me just a second, your assistant's going to be with you. And there we go. That was actually pretty quick. Now, some phones, you might get asked a few questions to allow to access your contacts and some other things. Uh, so, I've used Android Auto before. That might be why it didn't ask me for those things. Plus, my phone is also set up to use it. So, you might find some issues if, like, your Google Assistant is turned off. It's going to ask you, hey, we got to turn on the Google Assistant. So, what it's done is it has mirrored my phone up here onto the touch screen of the car. So you can see right here, I have my phone's navigation. So this is what I do in my car for trips. I don't have built-in navigation. I'm using the navigation from my phone to get around, and uh, that is the Waze app right there. Now, if I hit this little circle icon, this is going to bring up like a little, it's a home screen for the Android Auto. So if you have any apps on your phone that are compatible with Android Auto, you will see them on here and you can see I've got Amazon Music and Spotify, Audible. I have another Maps app right there. I can hit this down arrow. Text messages. I've got stuff for Pandora, Sirius XM. I've even got Skype on there. So got a variety of apps right there. Now another tip I want to give you about when you're plugged in like this. If I hit the button on the steering wheel for voice commands, you might find... Please say a command. See, it's defaulting to the car's voice commands. So let me cancel that. Canceling. Now, if I push and hold the button, instead of just, you know, just giving it a push, I'm going to hold it. it. Now, it has gone to my phone. So it, it's on my Google Assistant right now. So, so let me cancel that. Sorry, I don't understand. And that was that was my British Google Assistant as well. But uh, so that's a little tip for you. When you're plugged in, there's two ways you can actually use the voice commands. Uh, one great thing about using uh, the voice commands through your phone is like if I wanted to send a text message to someone, I could actually tell it uh, a message and dictate the message out and send a custom message. So that's a great little way you can send a text message when you're driving. Thanks for watching our tech tips today. If you like this video, give us a like, subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube. And if you enjoyed this video, also give us a comment in the comment section below. And if you'd like to see other videos like this about other things on your Subaru, leave us a note. Maybe we'll make a video on that in the future.